Right, anyways, though, five stacks of charging. Let's see how much damage this will do, guys. And a boost! <laughs> Himiko is said to be one of the worst five-star characters in the entire game. But you know what, man? Nothing's gonna stop me from building mummy. <laughs> and if anything, is she truly that bad, though? That is what we're gonna find out in today's video. Hello, Internet! And today, I finally built my Himiko. Even back in the Hawkeye days, Himiko was always there for me, man. Anyways, in terms of stats, I've got these. And you will look at this and think, wow, that is horrible. You will be kind of right. But then again, the crit rate is 40%. But then a lot of people forget you get 15 from being hired. 80% health, which ideally you would want. And well, my relish just kind of rolled this way. With a 15% increase, though, I'm able to activate my Salsodo set, which gets me more damage. I'm on the fire set as well, so overall, just way more damage. And this is the kicker. Before Dawn, the best addition I like code, and honestly, it just gives you so much more damage that it would be a crime not to put it on Himiko. And today, we'll be tackling the Harambe. Honestly, if you guys are, like, having trouble with the monkey, use Asta, man. She's so good. And actually, though, I believe this stage specifically is perfect for Himiko. Because you kind of want a lot of like fire breaks and fire MC with Asta keeps them broken so much that Himiko would actually have a lot of her fall attack activated. And yes, guys, we're gonna just find out how bad mm. is our mommy. Alright, so let's just see how the damage is looking like, shall we? Her partner in crime, Asta, has five stacks of charging right now. So we are gonna be looking at the maximum damage output pretty much from Himiko right here. As I break this unicorn. Wolverine? We'll break them. That gives me the third stack on Himiko. And let's just see. Ooh, 40k right there. That's from a random follow-up attack, by the way. Also, before that, let's just take a look at the stats. We got 54.2 crit rate from her traces. 200 over crit damage. We have like 4.4k on tab, which is pretty impressive. How much will the E do, though? And... Boom, 26k right there. Gosh dang. That is by no means bad, by the way. And right here, I can break two of you, activate my follow-up attack, guys. So boom, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. 33k right there into a follow-up that does 27,000. Yeah, dude. This is the power of Himiko, man. The only reason why anyone would say she's, like, horrible is probably only because the enemy rarely has fire weakness, but I'm not really sure why. There's, like, two enemies that's weak to fire this entire MOC. But anyways, let me get my charging stacks up, and we're gonna start with spamming some ultimates, man. We're gonna start with Luocha, we're gonna go with MCs as well. And MCs ult is actually really good at breaking, so yes, that would be very ideal. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Luocha's gonna touch anyone, and I'm gonna activate Himikos now with the Espresso and everything. I want to be Himiko's whatever that is. So this is the ultimate. I've got every buff I need. All the charging, all the buffs I've got. And also impressively enough, this is only with Asta. So imagine what I could do with like, say, Cyril for Brian at the side. But either way, I've trucked in a coffee. Now it's time to drop a nuke, man. 71,000, dude. Gosh, Dang. And because this ape is weak to fire, I could just go ahead and almost break you right here, right? And I could just go ahead and do this. That dog shouldn't do much to me. Ah, uh, yep, it doesn't. And now I've got freaking Asta again, which I could use my skill on. Breaking the elite, rocking my follow-up, doing 30k damage right there. Heck yes, dude. Right, Asta's gonna get hurt here, but I think we'll be fine against the little witches. Absolute balance, guys. And now we have another thing that people complain about Himika, which is versus singular targets. Let's just see how she fares versus a singular monkey. I'm a bit worried because if I go below 80% health, I will be taking damage. But yeah, that one hit the 14k. It's not too bad for an edition character, right? It's actually very, very respectable. Anyways, let's start by giga breaking the monkey here. Also heal back up a bunch. We're gonna go ahead and do that. That should almost heal Himiko enough. Right, it's gonna go ahead and hit the fire MC, which should be absolutely fine because who cares about fire MC, man? She's fine. Right, now it's time for Asta to giga break the monkey. There we go with a break into the follow-up again. I didn't crit a lot though because I am lower than 80% health. I suppose that is the jeopardy of this build where the moment you're below 80% health, you're kind of just not gonna crit. But anyway, still, Asta should lift this bag. We should heal up as well. Dude, this Luocha character... And more heals. I don't know if you have skipped this guy, but gosh dang, I'm glad I didn't. But I'll just do this into a simple basic attack that will activate my follow-up. And there we go. That should be enough damage almost. By just touching you here, you should take the damage from, yep, the memory turbulence and die, man. Now we have the ultimate test. It's basically just the monkey with freaking stone coat right here. That thing is annoying. But we should be fine though. Look at the amount of fire stuff we have. We're gonna go ahead and use our E bounce right here into Luocha's ultimate. Now fire MC's ultimate. We're gonna break them like they're breadcrumbs, man. And now we can go ahead and use Himiko again. Look at the ice guy. He's already almost broken. And every break I do, I get to activate my freaking 
your fall of attack. But anyways, though, five stacks of charging. Let's see how much damage this will do, guys. And a boost. <laughs> oh, I saw 6-9 and I saw him go. I just lost control. Oh, yeah, 70k on an ultimate. That is no slouch by no means. This is just Himiko at her very best right now. And guess what? This ice guy is not even going to take a turn. I'm just going to use this, almost breaking him. And I believe, yep, I can use my skill here and instantly break the guy into a follow up. And both of that, it combined, does like 70k damage, man. That is crazy, dude. So if Asta is able to break the monkey here, that would be even better. But uh, we were a bit, too, a, a bit close, but no cigar. We are still above 80% health, so I think we should be fine. The Harambe is going to hit... Asta, ow. You absolute primate. Do not touch my maiden. The ice guy's gonna start freezing now. That is kind of scary, but I think we'll be absolutely fine, guys. I'll just stabity stab your butt. And now I can use my E, breaking the other elite. That means activating my freaking follow-up attack again. We just did 40k there into the follow-up that does 40k again. A total of 80k, guys. God. I think my win card now is to just kill the stone guy, which would be very possible, I think. All I gotta do is to use my E. I still have max charging stacks. That's so good, Asta. I don't have to take the turn Vasta to still have the charging stacks, man. That means I gotta use ult whenever I want. Get that freaking caffeine in your system, man. 52k hit into a 10k hit, and we already killed the stone guy. And now, with only Harambe left, I'm gonna do what human has done. Extincting species. Can I push myself ahead of the cycle? Ah, oh, no. Oh, it's fine. I already won this. There we go. Just to style him, I'm gonna go and use E right here into Himiko's basic, man. Get slapped, dude. Himiko 1, Monkey zero. 33 cycles left. I've cleared MOC 8 first stage without breaking a sweat. So that's kind of just a lot of it, Slurcha. But if using Natasha or Bailu, it's not like you can't do it, right? So that was MOC 8. It's a pretty tough stage, actually. The monkey has been a nightmare for a lot of people. And guess what? If I have a Himiko, you could actually try her plus a free unit like Asta. Those two are so good against like fire characters. And just so happens, MOC 10. We're facing fire weakness characters, dude. And this is a nightmare to deal with. So we are going to try and bring Himiko into this. Same team, guys. Two free characters, one Himiko that people say is the worst character ever, and I guess Luocha, because she's just too good not to use, guys. I might lose this, though. This is kind of scary, because Luocha's my only cleanser, but if I can break them consistently enough, I just don't see how I will lose this. And did her technique, man. Look at this ground. And here comes some RNG, because oh, oh yeah, this is the RNG. They could definitely control me, but dang, I am just too lucky, you know? They got nothing on me. <laughs> they got no debuff. Usually by this time, our whole team should be in flames, but never mind. We're just gonna go ahead and use this into my ult here. Get all my charging stacks up, and it's time to show them who is boss, guys. Got all our charging buff, and dude, just so happens Lua Chill likes that fire attack. This is such a beautiful team right now. We could actually instantly break them, man. We use our Q into our ultimate to fire MC. There are people who said fire MC is no longer that good. I just don't get that. She's so good right now. The one on the left is almost broken, which I think she will be. After I use my ult into my skill with Himiko here. So let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> Boom. Wow, I did not crit at all, huh? That really just happened. Damn it, did. We can still use E here. And yeah, this was a break. One of you guys into my freaking follow up. Had I crit on that ultimate, man, this would have been some crazy damage. And that thing charges up. She thinks she's slick. Oh, we got Asta back. Get broken, dude. Oh, ah, shit. I did not break that. And then you charge up again. Dude, this is so toxic. But I think we're fine though. We're just gonna go and do this. That'll break the one on the right. That means fall up attack for him ago. Oh, yeah. Can I lift the one on the left though? Because I don't think I can break her in time. But I should get rid of like almost all of her stacks already, right? This would. She just charges it up again. What? This will go. Nobody controlled? Are you good? Again, usually I would have been in fire right now, but never mind. I'm just gonna hit you. Get rid of one of your stacks. And yeah, I think we're good. I guess I'll hit you again. Get rid of one of your stacks. And this will hopefully not... Ah! You cry! I really hate this stage. I have a land of choice MC, man. So why are we hitting Asta, dude? God... <laughs> Damn it, man. Either way, though, we're still dunking damage in. I'm pretty sure we still win. By the time, that's a lot of stacks gone on the one on the right, right? There's four stacks left by me hitting you one more time. And ult as well. You should have literally only two stacks. This is kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no. Surely you don't control anyone. Of course, both of them hit Himiko. I am just horrified. I think I have to start provoking. I think my problem was not using my skill enough, actually. Like, just, just hit her. Dude! Hit! My MC, gosh dang man, now I lost my crit buff. This is really bad guys. I'm just being very unlucky right now. Look at that, my damage is a lot lower now. It's getting dangerous. Right, you should charge up your thing. Never mind, we're just gonna 
Okay, you are charging up your thing, and I have to cleanse you up, and I think I have- <gasps> What? 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 So, like, why did I not- Get rid of this. You still have deep freeze on you. What? This is so bad. This is so bad. This is horrible. This is horrible. Right, you're gonna charge that up. You are gonna hit me right here and I might die. Oh my god, Luocha. We are still alive though. I think we will. Just that this take this is just too close. What in the world? Right, finally you got a turn. Break their butt, man. And I think we just wait, we don't have this. Himiko is controlled. Actually, that's good. Yeah, let's watch this. I'm just gonna go and do this. Luocha's gonna cleanse off our Himiko. And since Himiko has three stacks of this. I'm just gonna instantly use my freaking and follow up, man. Like, right here. Bang. Get wrecked. 20k damage. Gonna come back. What, you're gonna hit who? Nobody, man. That's who you're gonna hit. This is for Asta. That's for Asta, man. How dare you? Well, we still won. I actually tried that stage with the exact same team. It's just RNG, man. I, I'm not sure it's on freaking Fire MZ. I can't stop them if they want to hit Asta that much, so... Unfortunate. But hey, we still won. With like 31 cycles left, that is absolutely on track for a 3 star clear. And also, yeah, Himiko, you can't really get outside of like the basic battery and being lucky, which is like limited for sure. But well, the rest of the two actually play, so it's a really good team. And honestly, this is good to have, right? A seriousness of breakfast would actually just be fine. And there you guys have it, Himiko. Well, of course, I don't think she's better than, say, Blade or Sealer. Like, like she definitely has like her own weakness and stuff. But a well built Himiko is absolutely usable. And she's just so good in the fire themed team. There's a lot of breaks going on. There's a lot of like fire damage boost going on, which makes her a prime candidate to play with like say Asta and Fire MC. I'm on a fire damage boost player sphere as well. And then, well, people say I should show individual um, pieces, which they're not that crazy actually. All of these are not really good. Right, yeah, as you can see, most of them, there's some good stats on, but most of them just roll one, once or twice. So by no means, it's like a crazy insane Himiko, guys. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if anyone says Himiko is absolutely unusable or like she's bad, show them this video, man. She's wife material. She's the best teacher. She's the best mommy. Don't put disrespect on her name or I will find your IP address. And that is all for today. Take care.